Blessed day, my people say so in today's video, we're going to talk about Miss Kitty. And by now, most of you supposed to already heard the news that Miss Kitty and her husband announced on television that they are expecting their first child, right, my people? Before me, even go no further, more I want to start type congratulations in the comment section. So, this is definitely a good look. But what I'm going to do in this video, right, because I'm going to read the article, what I'm going to do is take a look at some of the comments, them, because some persons, I don't know still if them come on the internet for be negative, I guess some persons that are about that are the reason why she rushed got married and this and that and them thing there. but we are also focus mainly on the positive comments them as me say miss dana over there i congratulate her and thing among some other persons cheryl logs with doll and you don't know more people and stuff like that right my people um when I remember one time, people used to talk about Miss Kitty need for to have youth and this and that and see, you know, the woman definitely have her priorities straight. And that are the reason why Miss Kitty and one of them women, they will go out there and breed for a bag of man. There's yeah, people, I don't knock women who have kids for more than one man, you know. But you have some woman or women, I should I say, will set them priorities straight and them now go settle. And Miss Kitty, obviously, is one of those persons. So that's what we're going to be discussing, my people. I also see like Digicel forward out on television and actually give them like baby clothes and thing and thing. You see me? Even though we don't know the gender yet, you see it. I also see Observer put out a question and ask if, you know, the people are my team boy or team girl and thing and thing. So before I go no further into the topic, my people, don't forget for like, like up the video, you understand, so it can reach a wider audience. Also, head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4, but I definitely appreciate that, right, my people? So like I did say, my people, this morning or today is a very exciting day for not only Miss Kitty, but also Miss Kitty fans, because you don't know, since she get married, a lot of persons been giving her, like, all of support and thing, regardless, regardless of the naysayers where I try to come with certain little things, you understand what I say, my people? So today... We we'll finally find out, say yes, the rumors them away here upon the internet as it relates to Miss Kitty being pregnant is actually true. Yes, see it, my people. So Miss Kitty, I get a lot of love and support over there. You don't know from people in the comment section and things. So at the comment section, we're going to go to write about now. So Miss Donna left a comment saying, oh yes, congratulations. And she put some heart emojis, 100 and the prayer emoji. Somebody says, such a blessing. Congratulations, Miss Kitty. Nothing and no one else matters in this world but you and yours. Cheryl Luxedal say, congrats. Another person say, congratulations. That person here left a comment about, isn't having a baby at 42 risky for a woman with the question sign? So I guess that person here asks. And of course, it might be risky in a way, but you have women who have baby even older than that. You understand what I say? Based on certain things when me see on the internet. There is it. So Miss Kitty is still all right. You know, our private area is functioning. Obviously, it's functioning correctly. And, you know, it had the way it's supposed to do. It's reproducing and stuff. Anyway. Another person said, ah, oh, congrats, Miss Kitty. This goes to show that nothing now run away. Everything will fall into place when the time is right. Somebody said, some people on here talking about that's why he married her. The fact is, some women get pregnant for their main man 10 times and they still won't wife them. At least he's willing to demonstrate just how committed he is to her by marrying her. Plus, we don't know their business. We don't know if she just happened to get pregnant while she was already engaged. It's not our business. Just congratulate and move on. No need to be negative, Nancy. Um, somebody say, some things are to keep silent till you pass six months. Enough wicked out there. So they don't know this person. I say maybe she shouldn't come out and announce it because you have enough wicked mode people out there. That might be true, but... The, the wicked mouth can't do Miss Kitty nothing. You understand? They only can't wish Miss Kitty is protected by the Heavenly Father. There's eight more people. Anyway, somebody say, Before you negative Nancy's come, come talk about, Oh, that's why Sharon got married. Yes, that's what you're supposed to do. On a glorify on a single struggling motherhood too much. Why would you not want to be wedded for a child or with a child? On a try make everything negative. And the simple fact that is a lot of y'all won't ever be nothing more than a baby mother. So y'all hate. Somebody say, that wedding was not a hurry come up. First of all, 
that venue has to be booked way in advance and from the decor to the photographer to the specific person she invited to her wedding shows that this was definitely planned so I want to talk bad mind and chat too much she just got pregnant in the whole process and that's okay too gone are the days when a man I got married to you just because you are pregnant cause them a man I can't tame if them no want you if them no want you for marry you could have breed some more you not get no ring. Kitty always says she's not having any kids out of wedlock and she is standing by it. All that matters is that she is happy, he is fine and the baby is healthy. On a class the woman daily. She need to go breed and look man and now the lady married and is expecting on still have something negative to say. Some of uno kill the man for married to uno and him nah look uno way. Him na nah look fun away. Uno go. Away. Love the lady, make she enjoy herself. Somebody said, this is the true definition of not settling and waiting. This woman has went through a lot. She has been calling a lot of name because she didn't have a child. Now look at her, slowly waiting to deliver her healthy baby. Don't settle, ladies. God will send you bows just in time. All the best, phenomenal woman. So I'm not read no more comments. Only can say that some people over there defend Miss Kitty because, you know, the little rare comments them, you know, people were talking about this and that in the comment section. So can't blame them. That's it. I just want to say congratulations to Miss Kitty. Congratulations. And just hope you have a nice, safe delivery and everything goes planned. And yeah, yeah, your husband just do what you're supposed to do. And you know, I know you're do what you're supposed to do still. Because we're not too mature people. And I like we're not too teenagers. We have youth and you know, you know, people forced enough to get married. We're not do it off for our own and that or that. Anyway, people, thanks for watching the video. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section. And as I said, I can leave some congratulations in the comment section. Is it? Thanks for watching the video. Oh, and head over to my Instagram page, Mix Up Time 4. I'm out. First, let me start out by saying, children are a heritage from the Lord. Blessed is he who have his quiver full of them. I saw a video with Miss Kitty and she looked pregnant. So if that is so, congratulations, Miss Kitty, if you are pregnant. At over 40, your womb is doing wonders. God bless you. Secondly, I am seeing Miss Kitty and her husband out publicly gyrating and dancing and having a lot of fun. And as a counselor, that is a red flag. Ian is matching energy with his wife. And every counselor looking on will know exactly what I am saying. In counseling, we learn of the blind spot. We are not able to see our faults. So Miss Kitty, you are not able to see your fault because you are in love and you are on the blind spot. So you see everybody else's business, but you don't see yours. The fact that your husband is matching energy with you, wanting to take the spotlight, that is a red flag. Marriage is when the camera is off. The hardest thing on earth is relationship. And if you believe that the relationship that you had with him as a boyfriend is the one that you will have with him as a husband, you have another guest coming. Marriage is when the camera turn off. You need to tone it down. Your husband needs to come out of the spotlight and he needs to stop competing with you dominance it is too early to say but that is a red flag go back to the drawing board go back to the drawing board it is too early to say that your marriage is not positioned well all other marriage couple newlyweds take advice marriage is hard and you don't need to be competing with each other for the spotlight. <laughs> A word of caution is enough. Happy Monday to you all.